Australia. Chloe Boris for 10 News First. Aussie families with private health cover are being urged to check their policies now, ahead of a premium price hike next month. With cost of living pressures already ballooning, the timing couldn't be worse. But there are a few things you can do to save. Having private insurance was never a priority for Amanda Blatch. That is until recently when she took out her first policy at the age of 42 as a tax incentive. It's definitely on the top of the list considering, um, well, it's definitely um, already paid for itself by having it. And then she needed it. I had an accident not long ago and if I had have had to wait um, to get a, quite an emergency sort of surgery, um, I would have had to wait at least a couple more weeks before I could get the procedure done. But as cost of living prices rise, holding on to private health can be a tough call for many Australian households. A recent survey found 24% of policyholders were struggling to pay their bills. 14% said their private health was impossible to manage. And from November 1, it'll be even harder. Overall, this year's average increase for private health insurance premiums is 2.70%. That equals about an extra $58 a year on average for singles to fork out and about $125 extra per year on average for families to fork out. But there may be a few things you can do to save, including reviewing your policy now. Pay your premiums up front for a full 12 months before that November 1 rate rise kicks in. So that'll actually lock in your current rate for a further 12 months. Locking in some peace of mind too. Kate Banville for 10 News First. And ahead in 10 News First, a New York court dismisses a sexual assault lawsuit against actor Kevin Spacey.